What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now, we're sitting at 41,488. We're down about 1.78%. What I want to do today was look at Bitcoin from the one hour time frame, and we're actually going to work out to the one week time frame. So we get a little bit more detail here, and we're going to rip through all the time frames. I want to make this as quick as possible for you guys. I really value your time, and I hope you get some from this. Let's dig into this. So on the one hour time frame, what I'm paying attention to right now, Bitcoin is still in an uptrend. So you can see this trend line right here. This is what I'm paying attention to right now. And what's been happening is we're continuously still putting in those higher lows and higher highs. Now, one area we're running into now that I want to pay attention to is this big push that we had to the upside on heavy volume. And what you can see is we're almost forming a little flag pattern here. Nothing's for sure yet, but what we have to pay attention to is we had this big stick of volume to the upside, and then we haven't had as much selling pressure right here as we've been moving sideways. So basically what we're looking at here is if we can break this upper trend line and have a candle close up above that on the one hour time frame on some volume, that potentially could take us, if we're able to get over top of about 42,259, it potentially could take us up to about $45,000, which it looks like there could be some good resistance there, but we'd basically be taking the pull here that we've had move it to the upside there and that could put us up in that $45,000 range. Now we also want to be aware though guys if we move this to the downside here that this also could take us down if we have a break down in this area. First area I'd look at is this trend line as support and that's roughly going to be back around I'd say about $40,000 is going to be the first area that I'd look at. But if we'd had this same move to the downside, that could put us down around $37,000, which would make a lot of sense as well. But that potentially could be a trend line break here on the one hour time frame. So I'm really watching this area tight right now to see which direction Bitcoin's going to go. The odds right now are in the favor of the trend and the trend has been up. So if we take a look on the one hour time frame here, guys, we're trading still even on the one hour time frame. He's been really strong moves here. We've been up above the 20 EMA, the 50, the 100, and the 200. Relative strength right now is at 58. So if we did want to make another move to the upside here and a whale stepped in, we would have room on the relative strength even on the one hour time frame to make that happen. But nothing is confirmed yet. I would really watch this upper trend line and this lower trend line here for hourly candle closes and see what happens there. If we work our way out to the four hour time frame, and let me know if you guys like me ripping through the time frames like this for you so you can really see the big picture of Bitcoin. So right now here, guys, and what's pretty impressive for Bitcoin, number one, we had 10 daily candle closes to the upside, which I believe hasn't happened in like four years. It's really been a long time since we've done something like this. So that's why you have to proceed with all this stuff with caution right now, as we could just be at the top of the range here. So you can see our horizontal support down here is going to be at around $30,000 overhead resistance or the the horizontal top here was roughly right around where we're sitting right now that 41,486 and what we have to be careful of guys sometimes you can break through these things have a candle close and then you actually just fall right down through them so if you are trying to play something right now I would use some tighter stop losses in whichever direction that you're looking to play but on the four hour time frame here we're still trading up above the 20 EMA the 50 the 100 and the 200 now, what I want to point out here on the four hour time frame, if we take a look at this here, we're going to see if there's any divergence. So we'll throw on the divergence indicator. And what you can see is we actually do have some bearish divergence back in this area as price was going up, our relative strength was actually going down. So keep that on your radar as well. And then if we get out to the 12 hour time frame, which is an important one to look at here, we've actually found support on top of this 200 EMA in white here. So we broke out above it came back, back tested it, found support on some volume there, and we had that next push to the upside. And on the 12 hour time frame, we actually did close up above that resistance we were looking to close up above. So you know guys, that is a candle close on the four hour here. If this wants to continue to rip up to some higher levels, it potentially can. So you also have to be aware of that. And that's why I've talked about this many times, guys. I really think having just some longer term holds that are like the anti FOMO positions where you always have a piece of it. If you're moving to the upside, I think that really helps your trading because you're not going to try to chase price all over the place. And that's just something that I like to do personally. So what we're looking at here on the daily time frame, which is pretty impressive. So we had a doji 
not yesterday, the day before. So that was showing a little bit of indecision. It was our ninth day to the upside there. And then what we actually had yesterday, we rallied towards the end of the day and we did have a daily candle close right up above that resistance. Now we're having a little bit of hesitation today. So we're going to see if we drop back and we can hold that 200 EMA or if this is just something where we move sideways to cool everything down with the relative strength being at 70 before we pump again. I mean, this is just it's different price action, guys. We've moved sideways roughly for 60 days and then all of a sudden we get this type of move out of nowhere. And that's the, the cryptocurrency space. And that's what we do have to be prepared for and ready for all the time. We've talked about it, how basically one minute candles can be 10 to 15 percent many times because when the whales come in either direction they come in really fast and hard so another area i want to pay attention to is this trend line right here right there i want to see what we do at this horizontal resistance as well as this down sloping trend line see if we're able to break out through that if we get into the three day time frame and let me know your guys's thoughts do you think we're going to get a decent retracement before we potentially go higher do you feel like this is something different and we're just going to surprise everybody and it's going to be a move like back over here where we just continue to keep ripping to the upside even when everybody thinks we're going to potentially cool down i would love to hear your take on are you short are you long i would love to hear what you guys are doing as well so on the three day time frame here we're looking to have a candle close up above that 41,324 is going to be the range. And that would also potentially be a candle close back up above this 50 EMA, which is important for us. So we would be trading back up above the 50, the 20 EMA, the 100 and the 200 right there on about average volume as we run into this down sloping trend line here on the three day time frame. And relative strength is at 55 there. And then if we get into the one week, which we'll be waiting for the weekly candle close, I believe tomorrow. So here we had a bullish engulfing candle. It was not on above average volume. So let's be aware of that. And we did get follow through this week as we continue to run up to this 41,323, 24. Relative strengths at 52 on the one week time frame. So if we zoom back here and we take a look, guys, so we'll get rid of that. Really look here. So if we can have a weekly candle close up above this 20 EMA, that'll be the first weekly candle close since roughly about May 3rd. So that would be a big deal for us here. I mean, you can see we've had these longer wicks defending this support area down at 29,847. Still not on the most amount of volume though. If we're taking a look there, taking a look at these supports here, a little bit above average there on the hammer candle. This was our climax volume right here on the 19th. If we get into the technicals, Right now we have a six cell, a seven neutral, and a 13 buy on the one day time frame. Oscillators four cell, six neutral, and a one buy. Moving averages two cell, one neutral, and a 12 buy. If we get into the one week time frame, we have a four cell, eight neutral, and a 14 buy. Oscillators one cell, eight neutral, and a two buy. Moving averages three cell, zero neutral, and a 12 buy. Next, what I want to get into is glass node real fast. Take a look at what's going on today with the wallets. So what we're having down here, guys, with 10,000 or more, it looks like we did just have a little buy. So yesterday we basically dropped all the way down here, and then it looks like at, we had 83 wallets with 10,000 or more. And now today we have 84, so it looks like one big whale did add there. Next we'll go to 1,000 or more. So I want to zoom in a little bit more for us. All right, so right here, guys, 1,000 or more. So on Thursday, we had 2,154, and now we have 2,156, 1,000 or more. Addresses with 100 or more. So this one still has just been going down with 100 or more. So on Thursday, the 29th, we were looking at 15,978, and now we have 15,975. If we get into 10 or more. 10 or more has been increasing. So let's see, on Thursday, the 29th, we were looking at roughly about 146,841. And now we're at 147, 149. Then we'll do one or more. Then I also want to look at the inflow and outflow as well. So one or more, we've just been cruising up here. We have 801,000 addresses with one or more. And then if we get into the home category, so for new addresses, we're down 5% today. Active addresses, we're down 8.56%. Exchange inflow volume, 
minus 27.16, exchange deposit 0.75, exchange outflow volume 27.6%, exchange withdrawal 0.97, exchange balance negative 0.31. Then I always take a look at the whales here as well. So we have 1,924 here and that's down 0.1%. So that's what I want to bring to you today, today, guys. Just really watch those areas. If you are playing any positions, just really use those tight stop losses and really manage that risk. That's the best thing that I can tell you. We're in a crazy situation right now. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care.